All right, it's time to separate the sheep from the goats. What's it gonna be, clips or flats? <laughs> ah, flats I see. Not only are Race Face Atlas pedals incredibly easy to rebuild, they're also really tough and light. In fact, they're so easy to rebuild that even if you have hose for hands, I think you could do it. All right, so the first step is to use a three millimeter Allen to remove the spare pin from the end of the axle. Now we're gonna remove this end cap from the end of the pedal with a six millimeter Allen. Now we need to remove this two and a half millimeter Allen from the end of the spindle. We're gonna hold the spindle with an eight millimeter Allen wrench and then take a two and a half millimeter Allen and back this out. Now remove the spindle. Now take a flat blade screwdriver and remove this seal. Use your eight millimeter Allen wrench to push out the three small bearings on the outside of the pedal. Now it's time to remove the large inner bearing. Now we're gonna use this special tool that's supplied with the pedal rebuild kit to push out the big bearing. Insert the tool with the flat end pointed down underneath the bearing. Then take your eight millimeter Allen or a long punch, put it in through that side. Then take your hammer and tap out the bearing. Now the pedal is fully stripped and is ready to have new parts installed. Grease up the bearing seat. Just be careful that you don't get any grease in your beard. Take your new bearing, drop it in here. Then take the tool supplied with the kit, put it in like that, take your hammer, tap it into place. Don't let this part get your goat. It only takes a light tap. Take the seal, put it in over top of the bearing, press it in with your fingers. Make sure that it's seated all the way around into the groove in the pedal so that it stays put. Take the three uh, outboard small bearings and install them into the end of the pedal. Use the same bearing press tool that you used on the other bearing and use the opposite end to seat those small bearings on the outside of the pedal. Grease up the bearing interfaces on the spindle. Now install the spindle into the pedal body. Use your eight millimeter Allen to hold the spindle in place. Then take your small two and a half millimeter Allen bolt, insert it in the end. Now install the six millimeter end cap. Now install your spare pin. Tighten it down and you're all done. No. 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 I said no.